Hey everybody, Dawn McGee here, your wellness strategist and nutrition evangelist. I empower clients with complex health challenges to put the fun and the flavor back into their lives. And so here we are at the beginning of January, and I've been talking all month long in December about how do you want to feel the day after? Well, if the day turned into a month for you, and here we are after a month of not being kind and good to our bodies with the fuel and the food and all the other things, I want to ask you, how do you feel? Now, you you may be in a situation where your body bounces back quickly and you didn't treat yourself quite so well and you feel fine and you're like, eh, Dawn, I got this. I don't need to take better care of myself. And I'm going to ask you to pause because here's what I want you to know. The way you take care of yourself in the first half of your life dictates the quality at which you get to live the second half of your life. And you're like, Dawn, what, what does that mean? Well, what that means is that lifestyle diseases, things that accumulate because of our lifestyle, they don't show up right away. It's not like you drank too much and you have a hangover. It's not like that. But when you have chronic inflammation, it leads to other things. You've got irritation at the cellular level, and it can lead to things like diabetes, autoimmune challenges, cancers, digestive issues, all sorts of things. And that's really what you want to avoid, right? I mean, sure, absolutely. Enjoy yourself. Go out to parties. Have some fun, however you define that. And balance that with taking care of your body and your brain and your soul, because you want to have fun, so that you can live the life you want to live down the road. Now, for me, that includes dancing with my son at his wedding someday, playing with my grandkids on the floor someday. I want to be here long enough to see all of that and be able to enjoy it. Those are the things that matter. And so if you are here at the day after not feeling so hot, it's okay because every meal, every minute is an opportunity for you to make new choices. You don't have to wait for tomorrow. You don't have to wait for Monday. You don't have to wait for next month. Start right now. Figure out what you're going to do, getting back to basics to have your protein, fat, and carbs at your next meal in an anti-inflammatory way. What generally inflames people? Well, you know, gluten, dairy, soy, alcohol, caffeine, um, grains sometimes. So you know what, if you just for a period of time, just for a short season, if you take those things out of your regular routine, you'll start feeling better much faster. And then you can introduce some movements so that you're feeling good, you're getting stronger, you have more energy, make sure you're getting some good sleep. All of these things, getting back to basics, right? That's that's the thing to focus on. And we're not talking about finding your next crazy diet because short-term quote-unquote fixes are never long-term solutions. So I hope that helps. I hope it helps you get back on track. If you have questions, don't hesitate to put a comment or hit reply in email and reach out to me. I am happy to work with you with whatever health challenges you've got. Also, I am kicking off one more new workplace wellness group this quarter. So if you know anybody who would like to have their employees, maybe you work at a place that you would like to bring in some wellness programs, please reach out to me, introduce me to your HR manager or benefits broker, and we will get everybody on track to feeling healthier. As always, what I hope for you is that you live a life you love without being hungry, feeling deprived, or giving up your glass of wine with dinner. Until next week, ciao.